at, at the end of the day, it is an honor, it is an honor to get your county jersey, you know. And uh, I suppose looking back at my own career, uh, I suppose the hardest thing is for me when you're when you're hurling with your county, when you set a standard for yourself, is to maintain that standard for 10, 12, 13 years. You know, I've no regrets in my career, really. You know, uh, we were there thereabouts on a few occasions. I suppose we were a bit unlucky that. Uh, I suppose Clare were that bit hungry as well. You know, there was a good few teams around in Munster Championship that, that particular era. Clare were very good, Limerick were very strong, and sure Tipperary and Cork, they're never poor. You know, so Munster Championship at the time was very exciting. But if you're watching the first game, uh, Limerick and Tipperary, Limerick and Waterford, you'd say it was a very poor standard of hurling. And uh, I'm, I'm sure Justin Carter and Davy Fitz wouldn't have been happy with that. But like Waterford, after bouncing back, they're after opening their game, they're in the Munster final, and that win against Limerick, without a doubt, is going to, is going to bring them on a ton again. So, it's going to make for a very interesting Munster final. Tipperary manager Liam Sheed, he's a shrewd enough old guy there. He's been there, he's been there in the past and he's hurled with Tipperary as well. And, you know, he's after bringing a great crop. I know there might be an awful lot of folks on David Fist because he went down to Waterford. But Liam Sheedy is after bringing a great crop of players together. And the added incentive without, without winning, outside of winning the Munster Championship, it's the easy road to go to All-Ireland and that's to go through as winners. Like every opposition are going to get periods of... Uh, periods of during the game of having the ball and in fairness to Tipperary when they do have it they are clinical but uh, their work rate doesn't seem to be as clinical when they're having the ball and I think if they brush up that aspect of their game that without a doubt they'll take beating because uh, they've serious talent there and uh, as I said I think if they hurl as a team and work that bit harder when they're having the ball you know they could be without a doubt serious contenders for the All-Ireland. Well, back in my day, when you were doing your stretches for your grinds, they'd, they'd say, uh, don't jerk. Now they're jerking in every exercise. You know, it has changed. Uh, I suppose it, 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 say it has got to be quicker, I'd say, all right, you know, but the same bases are there. You know, it's the same bases, really. You know, I know teams will say they train, they're training extremely hard now, but when we, were, when we were back training, you know, and I said it on several interviews at the time, we were training like professionals. And that still is the case. It was a scorcher of a day and uh, I can remember the ground was like a rock and I had the big long steel studs on me because I had this thing about the steel studs that you know you, you'd keep your balance quicker and you, you wouldn't slip and uh, it was a ferocious game like you know it was it was Munster Championship hurling and it was Limerick and Clare and there was nothing spared in the day and uh, I, I remember Barry Foley and Gary Kirby getting the last two scores and I had an, I had an opportunity and thank God it went over.